Hello everybody, it's Dylan Milks here for Friday, January the 6th, 2012. I was just reading an article on uh, Yahoo Finance just a few moments ago and it kind of prompted me to uh, to post a video here. Uh, what it was about was about the, um, you know, back to the, uh, the U.S. debt ceiling and the increase that is coming in the next few weeks. So apparently the U.S. is again about uh, 100 billion dollars away from hitting its debt ceiling limit again. And if you recall in the spring and uh, through some of the summer um, there was all these debates going on and, and this uh, about uh, whether or not to increase it by 1.2 trillion at that time and uh, you know at the end of the day of course that 1.2 trillion dollar increase was given and now here we are about uh, six to eight months later and we're hitting, the U.S. is hitting that debt limit again. So really that um, the $1.2 trillion increase has only effectively bought the U.S. you know, six to eight months in, in time. And the interesting thing is, is that, again, Obama is going to be raising it by what he's proposing is $1.2 trillion again. So that would then take the limit to... Uh, 16.4 trillion, and they're they're estimating that that uh, that 1.2 trillion increase will essentially take the U.S. Um, through to the end of 2012, and uh, basically um, the first order of business for the either president reelected Obama or for the Republican president um, will be to increase the debt ceiling once again. Uh, basically, as their first order of business. Now, I, I do kind of question the um, the the uh, sort of the, the timing of this, the timing factor of this, because again, this past year we we hit the um, the 1.2 trillion in about uh, six to eight months. Now, why are they why are they estimating that this is going to carry them um, through to the end of 2012 and um, you know, right up to when the Republican or, or Democrat or Obama will be uh, taking office again. It's kind of interesting here that uh, you know, personally, I don't I don't think that that 1.2 trillion is going to last them till the end of uh, 2012. I actually think that, uh, like we saw, um, like we saw this past year, you know, I think that that 1.2 trillion is only going to last them another, uh, you know, six to eight months. Uh, that's my feeling of it. If we look at the the economy and the, the things, the way things are going in Europe, and um, you know the uh, the unemployment problem in the states and, and the slow growth and the you know the fact that uh, you know a lot of you know a lot of the the more specialized or um, um, you know more specialized jobs are not being uh, are not really coming back into the market, but rather they're kind of the more service oriented jobs. You know, there's really just no way that I, I can see this happening that. That they're going to make it till the end of 2012 without having to uh, um, increase the limit again. However, I do find it, uh, you know, of course, you know, this is just this is just how politics is in North America and really all around the world. Is that you know they, they want to push the problem off um, to the shortest period of time possible, or push it off just just enough so that they don't have to deal with it anymore, and kind of push it off to the next guy. And uh, you know, it's really sad that this is going on. It's very sad. I mean. Um, you know that they're doing these little six to six month to a year little stints here of, of increasing the limit, but um, but yeah, like I said, so just something to uh, to follow this year in 2012 and kind of keep an eye on for that. And uh, you know, you can watch the um, you can see the U.S. debt limit. Uh, sorry, the U.S. debt. Um, I believe the website is uh, usdebtclock.org. I believe is the website. But uh, you know, be watching that, following it there, and uh, let's just see how fast they get up. They get up. They get near that 16.4 trillion, because that's what they're going to be increasing it to. Come, I believe it's the third week of uh, of January when Congress comes back from their summer, sorry, from their uh, Christmas vacation. So that's going to be their first order of business is to uh, is to pass that through. And uh, from all accounts of what we're hearing, is that that's really not going to be. Um, you know any any drama with that? Um, you know all the drama happened there in, in the spring and summer, so um, that's just going to go go ahead and be passed right through. So uh, like I said, be watching that. The website is usdebtclock.org. I'll post the uh, the link to that um, basically you know in, in the comment section of this video, 
And uh, like I said, be watching that this year, and uh, we'll see how fast it gets to 16.4 trillion. So have a good weekend, everybody, and uh, take care, and bye for now.